If you put this man next to a pig, you get the ancient Egyptian word for turquoise. Yeah. This is almost going to sound too dumb to be true, but think about if you wanted to make an ideogram for another word like uh, penmanship. You could do like an intricate line drawing of a scribe, or you could break the word down into three parts and depict it as a pin plus a man plus a ship. Pinmanship. That's exactly what ancient Egyptians did sometimes. The Egyptian word for turquoise was kestep. And you could come up with a new symbol to write that word, or you could just use two existing ones. Kes, the word for stop, and teb, one of the words for pig. Kesteb. And written language used to be pretty flexible like this until pure alphabet systems took over because as you can imagine, it would be pretty confusing to come across these symbols and have to guess whether it's a literal story of a man catching a pig or if it's like a phonetic gimmick to conjure the name of this. But if we still had that flexibility, would you be able to break down your name into symbols? 